This spacesuit glitters like Christmas tinsel, and it's quite heavy if you wear it in gravity. Due to the inclusion of metal threads that divert the electrical charge to special accumulators, and due to the special material and rubberized lining, lining it's almost impossible to get an electric shock in such a spacesuit. Only if you don't pierce it through with something, of course, but then electricity will be the least of your problems. Hello everyone, welcome to the Back to Breath Edge. I got bored. Yep. This thing has still got five more minutes to go, and basically, I I went around, I resorted my inventory, I added the new largest thing that we know of. This is the, um, what's it called? This is the large transport module. I was hoping it would have something to do with vehicles, but no, it's just a large room. Yep. Neat. And, uh, yeah... I don't think I'd recommend linking it by tubes vertically. That's kind of awkward. In any case, let's just... Let's not use one of the steaks on a minor amount of hunger. Let's just take a nice salty package, drink some, and let's go explore some more of the Knight Errant while we wait. Actually, let's try something. Let's see if I can make one of those beef grenades, and let's see if it's useful against against the uh, turrets. So, beef grenade, beef grenades, where is... There it is. A handmade explosive device made from a can of synthetic beef, a battery, and some simple clockwork mechanisms. The gas accumulating in the can ignites from a tiny spark that occurs on contact closure, causing an uncontrolled chemical reaction of the can's expansion, followed by the dispersion of the burning beef mass in all directions. Just need a battery, can of beef, and a piece of metal. And that is all easy enough. Yeah, let's try this thing out and see if we can't make that make that turret field a little bit safer. Huh. Is that something? Is that just a piece of ice on the asteroid, or is that something? That looks suspiciously like it might just be something. Let's check that out, why not? Ooh, I see a blood stain. Looks like there was a fight here. Judging by the tracks, two attackers knocked their opponent to the ground and tried kicking him for a long time, after which the victim died of old age as the attackers missed every time. Wow! <laughs> Unfortunate. Ooh, a sports bag. Those who like to travel light always take this bag with them. It's very durable, roomy, and comfortable. I traveled with a similar one myself, but it seems to have been thrown out of the cabin during the crash. Well, finders keepers. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's anything but decor, and suit doesn't even have anything to say. Yeah. A portable storage solution would be nice. So is there anything on this asteroid other than just a little bit of incidental lore? I guess not. Can we fly through this safely? Looks like it. But I wouldn't... I wouldn't uh, take my chances with that bright glowy ball of death in the distance there. That looks... That looks to be, uh... Careful. Yeah. That looks to be a no. Alright, so if this works, I'm gonna have to go back to the leaf zone, and I'm gonna have to, uh, get some more cans of beef. Probably hunt down some more batteries, too. Because I'm gonna need lots of these to clear this area, I imagine. All right, so do I just uh, give it a throw? Huh. I guess we're not close enough, or it just doesn't work like that. Either or, really. In any case, I guess while we're waiting on research to happen, we can uh, explore the area a little bit. Let's see, there might be a clear path across... Be careful. 
Yeah, across to that way. So long as I stay out of their line of sight, should be able to get in here. I think that might be a cleaning bot. Neat. Seagull? A seagull is a truly voracious beast. Your garbage and yourself are its delicious feast. Such poetry. Such beauty. I heard about big ships being infested not only by hamsters, but even by seagulls, though I did not think it was true. Seems like this one was eating garbage. Well, they are the rats of the skies. Really, pigeons got nothing on seagulls. Neat. Broken soda machine. A faceted glass is the most common glass in the galaxy. This one isn't very clean, though. Yeah, let's just... Uh, I was hoping I could kind of break that down for the glass. I need a few pieces of just raw glass, but oh well. Yeah, I'm just kind of turning down whatever I don't need at this point because my storage system is full. Need to stop picking up every last little shiny as much as that goes against my instincts. Okay. Doesn't look to be much in this section of wreckage. Turret active. Be careful. I'm really wondering where those cells are at. I imagine they must be somewhere in the Night Errant because, you know, their military equipment for the military vessel section, whatever. Really, the distinction between what's a part of the ship and what is an independent ship seems to be... Like the, like the unnamed seems to be kind of an amalgamation ship. Like all its pieces fit together and can go apart like it's one great big spaceship Voltron. Which is an interesting design. Not what I would call an optimal design, though. Really, if you're designing some sort of long-range space vessel, you want to, well, not have it just one vessel. You want a fleet. Yeah. Then, Be careful. then we can't have situations like this where the whole thing crashes, you know? Okay, can I just get below its line of sight, keep it between us and the wall, and we can get in there just fine, I think. Uh, what's this? Switch off. Control panel. Oh! Oh, hello! So they can be destroyed. And they have the discharge cells. That's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to find the control panels for a bunch of these turrets, and we're going to have to stealth around them. In order to... I probably very nearly died right there. But yes... That is how we will get the get the system going again. Let's uh, let's find ourselves a little bit of uh, let's get ourselves a full tank of gas, and then I'll see what those discharge cells have to say. All right, so now I know the objective. It's just a matter of objectifying. Yeah, those are sexy little turrets, aren't they? 
Mm. You can just feel the progress they're giving me. All right, discharge cells. An integral part of particle beam weapons designed to convert to convert ions to neutral atoms by way of something, which was written somewhere, but it's hard to remember. Sounds legit. All right, so I guess let's work our way down. There's a turret somewhere near. And let's kind of look around below its line of sight and see if we can find a switch anywhere. Because, yeah, each one of these kills not only gets us closer to our objective, but it's going to make this whole area a bit safer. And I am all about that. I'm Mr. Safety, don't you know? Everything I say and do is safe. Yeah, I'm not seeing it anywhere. And I bet if I just tried to really sneak up on it, that would just be death pretty much right away. Maybe it's right by its side, though. Somewhere in this little foxhole. Now, if I just pop my head up, will it immediately spot me? Yeah, it looks like it. It knows where I am and it knows what I'm about. So I can't just kind of pop up and grab the cell out of it. I might be able to pop up and chuck a grenade at it if that would kill it. But really, I think the grenades aren't the way to go with that. I'm thinking that either EMP grenades or possibly I have to wait for the laser gun before I can take them out more forcefully. We're low on titanium. Maybe I should pick some of that up while I'm here. If that isn't too close to the gun. There's a turret somewhere near. That might be too close to the gun. No, we look like we're fine up here. So there is quite a bit of grace in uh, how close you can get after you've been notified. Okay, let's get into that section there and let's see if there's any control panels on it. Oh wait, that is the section we've already saved. Well, let's just continue on through. We need to go around that. Yeah. And thankfully, it looks like Suit has shut up. Finally. Oh, there's guns, there's guns. Yes, I know. The the boop boop is enough. Thank you, suit. Alright. Is there any old control panel on here? That was close. <laughs> Where are you? There we go. Alright, so that's three out of how many? And yes, I know that my suit is done. But, uh... Be careful. But, yeah... I think that I'm safe to uh, say that I'd like to complete this objective now, that I know what I need to do over here. Might as well. Yeah, 
But yeah, I wonder if even if there isn't a control panel, if like sneaking up and pulling that discharge cell, if that would do the trick. That sounds like something to do if I'm feeling cheeky breaky. In any case, let's just get rid of these. Got one. Yep, sure did suit. Second discharge cell installed. And numero tres. I hope it doesn't start firing right away once you fixed it. That would be nice, but no, I think that's what the control panel is for. The turret has noticed you. And I have noticed it, suit. I was just praising you for being silent. Why did you have to change? Alright, let's look around here. I think it would have to be relatively close to the turret, maybe under it. Is there a way into this housing here? Not looking like it. Yeah, all those control panels are usually really close by. Are you the one that's been whooping at me every time I'm just passing by? Let's see if we can do something about you. You're the most annoying one in my path so far. So I'm not seeing anything in here. More plastic is nice. Yeah. Alright, so I'm thinking that maybe somewhere along this lip. Not looking like it. Okay, so it's not instant death. It is not instant death. And that projectile looks slow enough that I might be able to even dodge it. Yeah. And they fire twice and then have to reload. So let's burn a candle and let's see if we can't... Okay, these are not as deadly as I was led to believe. They are still pretty deadly, though. And they jar you out of place when you're trying to... Okay, so I need to go and uh, either get a health pack or or just um, build that bed finally. Rest up, restore my health. But yes, okay. So, we didn't need to quite stealth as hard as we were stealthing. Just having a decent amount of booster on us and uh, moving moving wisely is enough and we can tank a few shots before it becomes a problem that is good to know you know i think it might be like i said those things are meant for asteroids and we're not an asteroid thus we are highly resistant we don't take asteroid damage at 100 percent Seriously, though, that one looks like it doesn't have a control panel anywhere near it. So I might just have to berserker charge my way up and try and grab the cell off of it directly. If that's even a practical solution. Can I open this up in any way? Doesn't look like it. In any case, let's get back home. Let's try and find a way to restore our health. Huh. Is that paint? 
I could use After some more the pain. technical support application statistics, the agency decided to deal with the linearity of jokes in their spacesuits. Now you can always choose joke one or joke two if you buy a special Breath Edge 2 button gamepad. Wow. Physical DLC. What wonders we live in. This looks like paint, or possibly blood. It's a bit hard to tell the difference. And this looks interesting. Lead! This must be paint, because lead and paint tend to go together, like biscuits and gravy. Neat. What's this? Well, I don't think I quite have the air to check this out as much as I'd like to. Tank with paint. Drill. Okay, so that's just an infinite paint source, I guess. Unless it's not infinite. It's a paint source, I guess. Is the story there. Yes, and here you see the uh, elegant form factor of my architectural skills. Boy, here we go. Just in time. All right. So, remind me, I'm going to need two rolls of fabrics, a light bulb, and some titanium. I don't have two rolls of fabric. I don't have even close to two rolls of fabric. I kind of needs that bed right now. So, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Unfortunately, it looks like you can't trust these tables. This also happened when I reconstruct... When I constructed the, uh... Yeah. So it looks like Grandpa's Shrine is just not happening right now. Unfortunately. We'll just put the entourage away. Yeah. It looks like, unfortunately, the physics just doesn't like... It doesn't like constructed uh, structures. Oh, boy. Well, let's go back to... What would have good? Hmm. Well, I know that there's a lot of fabric back at the starting zone. It's a bit of a trip. I might check those out. You don't say. Interesting indeed. Looks like some sort of communication. An intact monitoring cabin. If we find some cameras that are connected to it, then we can see something useful. Hmm. If we can get inside of it at all. And that... Really, this does look like it's in wonderful condition, though, relatively speaking. So then how do I get in? Is this nothing but a... Do I need to find a camera? What's going on here?
Well, that mystery will have to stay for a little while, because running low on air. Really can't afford any more health loss. And just barely make it. Oh boy. Yep, that's just me being Mr. Safety again. You know, it occurs to me I could stop by the ice hole while I'm doing this trip and I could just pick up some more ice. That sounds like it might be a plan. I need some more glass. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. I think I see a couple of shards right over there. Yeah, that should do us nicely. Just pick up a good couple of them while we're here. This suit seems to be icing over more slowly. I thought that would be the domain of the electrical engine of the engineering one, not the electrical engineer. Eh, been a while since we've seen this familiar face. Alright, so I think first things first is just fall face forward into this. Lovely. Alright. Did I see something on the floor? I guess not. In any case, yes. So... A couple of fabric off this. I think that might technically be enough for my immediate purposes, but let's gather more than what we need. And I think there's a bunch of containers around. I might see some aluminum veins while I'm out here, too. You never know. Aha, yes. Free floating fabric. Jeez. It feels so much faster and better. It just, it just, the perspective of it. Oh, hey, a shawarma. Depressurization may occur in the vicinity of the toilet pump when the waste tanks are damaged externally. It is highly recommended not to sit on it during such moments. Wow. What a way to go. <laughs> yes, even in an area as depleted as this, there's still food to be found. So even with the resources not respawning... It would take a good long time to deplete everything and have survival be an issue. Although now that I have glass, I think when I get back I'm going to try out that aeroponic planter and see if that's anything. There might be infinite food and stuff in the game. Who knows? Are those two more aluminum nodes? They are. God. I am blind or unlucky probably both hell there's probably a million fabric floating around that I'm missing I've got a decent amount of it but I could use more alright well the big thing is that we got glass we got enough fabric and we've recovered our health. So I would call this a successful trip. Let's head back. Yep, it's looking like with the bike's thruster we can do this trip on one tank of gas, no stops. By gas I of course mean oxygen. So, I think what I needed was... Two rolls of fabric and a light bulb and a piece of titanium. I need some more fabric. Just some. 
And let's just get the light bulb and the titanium while we're here. Let's put the bed upstairs. It's a fairly infrequently used little thing. We'll make this kind of the, uh, we'll make this the habitation loft. Yeah, that sounds. All right, so. Wrong module? What the heck? Why you know? Why you know? It's a compartment. Yeah, I have what I need. So, hmm. does it maybe need to be built into a tube? Hmm. Or, yeah, maybe that. Maybe I need, okay, let's grab a construction kit and let's see if that'll work. If I have any construction kits, which I don't because I use them all to build the unnecessarily big thing. So what do construction kits cost? Rubber, resin, and titanium. Let's build another one, just to be sure. So I need to gather more titanium again. Yeah, so let's... Over on the outside of the vessel... Hop on outside, because it's easier for construction purposes. And just off of this... Let's build a tube. Will that only go vertical? Is there any way to turn it horizontal? Well, let's try building the small habitation. No, okay, well, let's build her vertical. Why not? Right there, and small habitation. There. Now it says habitation in the name, as in a thing built to be inhabited. I am out of power. What did that, what's it called, improved communications? Two aluminum electronics and more titanium. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's see what. Uh, first of all, let's see if, in fact, yeah. Okay, so I can build the bed up here. It just needed to. It was very finicky about where it wanted to go. So we can now sleep. That's nice. That's good. But now we need some more power. Oh boy. It's always something. And I'm gonna need some more titanium. Thankfully it looks like we can just kind of jump straight down without hurting ourselves. Let's just, uh, let's put the swarm in here.
Okay, so I need to go and pick up some more titanium. That is thankfully all good local stuff. We have plenty of titanium nearby. Yeah, see? Right here. Wow, it only had two in it? Neat. <laughs> you know, didn't the description of the dispenser say something about having a three-story tall mansion? Yeah. It even has that kind of new architecture look to it with the way that the, uh, that it doesn't stack up like it's medium, big, small instead of, like, more appropriate. Yeah. Alright. Now, two aluminum and a piece of electronics. Ah, did it. Okay. So, disaster averted. Bed achieved. Now, let's, uh, I would probably need more fabric to make that. Yeah, two whole more rolls of fabric. So, can't do that at the moment. Nope. But we'll just... As we find more fabric, we'll get there eventually. In the meantime, let's check out some of these miscellany things. Yeah. Like, didn't I have trash cans? Aeroponic planter. Plastic and glass. Sure, let's try that. Let's put that up in the loft. See if that does anything. Hmm. It looks like it only... It's like a wall hanger. Okay. Neat. So can I plant anything? Is, is there anything to do with that? Does it do anything? I guess that we'll check back here every once in a while and we'll see if anything starts growing in it. Uh, yeah. That's a little bit. Ah, yes, we have glass so we can build the Kenatron. Let's build that inner phone and decrypt those tapes. So, the Kenatron, that's one electronics, two glass, and a wire. All right. Kenotron. And on top of that, for an inner phone, I'm going to need... A generator, a titanium, and a plastic. Alright, so what's a generator going to run us? That's going to be alkali, electronics, two metal, and a wire. Okay, we have tons of alkali. Alright, the interphone. Nice and convenient and nearby. So, let's see what all this is about, finally. I imagine it's just going to open up those, uh, those, like, tool parts. Um, yeah, like that waypoint over there. It's going to open up some more of those, so I don't need to stumble across them randomly.
Yeah. Ooh, spacesuit marker? What do you mean by that? I don't see any spacesuit marker. Oh, coordinates mark. Okay, well, let's mark that one as special. Okay, it's kind of in the direction of not where we're going. Well, you know, let's grab that first aid kit that I know I have in here. Couple bottles of water. And let's get going and finish up our objective over at the Knight Errant. Hello. Docking gates. These are obsolete, although they come in quite handy in case of emergency evacuation. Docking gate? Ooh. Oh, okay. That might be helpful. I should have built a new enhanced scrapper. Oh well. Yeah, maybe that's what I was hoping for with the transporter thingy. Maybe if we put that on, like, the roof of it, then we'll be able to dock the bike to it. Turret active. Be careful. Uh-huh. Okay. Back into the death zone. And now that I know that these things are a little bit forgiving, I can be a little bit more of a berserker about them. So let's look around and let's see if there's a switch anywhere on here. Hello? What do you know? Now I believe that just means we need one more. And I already have an idea of where to go to achieve it. It's not that one, it was another one. You know, that one unfortunately can't be must. There was another one where I found the lever. I was just not quite good enough to manage it. This also looks like a pretty promising collection over here. Nothing on the interior that would make it easy. Aha! Heroic deed? Okay. Huh. We can hit it through the wall. Well, an extra discharge cell won't hurt. Maybe we'll find a use for it. And in any case, we're making the area safer. Huh. That's actually pretty good art on it. Yeah. I like the Mega Man blaster arm with the retro futurism he's got going on there. 
All right, a full tank for good luck, and let's turn the gun on. Only one left. Yep. And we're done. I might be wrong, but it's night errant preparing to shoot. Well, I sure am. No, it's not. But I'm starting to understand why you repaired this weapon. I'd like to warn you that shooting from it is pure madness. Therefore, I strongly recommend not to come near Night Aaron's manual control panel, take the joystick in your hand, direct the weapon in the debris, and press the fire button. Night Aaron is in running order. What's that? Do exactly that? Sure thing, suit. Yes, I had exactly the same idea. Knight Errant must break through the airlock's armor, damaging the latching mechanism. Try aiming and shooting at the lower latch so as not to damage the module. Seems like you only have one shot before the weapon's batteries go completely flat. Fire! <coughs> Oof. Mm, uh, well, uh, I'm not sure this is a good time to comment, but the shot didn't go well. Although you did damage the armor for sure, together with half the equipment. Neat. <laughs> well. Mm. See. This is why we need hypoallergenic oxygen in our suit. It can't just go off of the... Uh... Huh. That is a large section to still be moving. I thought that part of the reason uh, stuff wasn't moving around that was that size was engine limitations, but I guess not. Wow. An armored airlock with complex entry control system. The system was so complex that it was the first one to fail. However, this doesn't prevent the door from remaining armored. We won't find any other way into the module anyway. Yep. Well, I made another door. Damn, this is some thick armor. Pity it's obviously not at all good against its own weapon systems. So, uh, where's the way in in all of this? Aha! This looks more likely. Misleading objective marker. With such damage, we won't be able to control the core remotely, but we can use the core protection protocol and open additional cooling valves in the liner. For that, find the central panel and try to guess the nine-digit password. Oh boy. Hmm. They all look so happy to be here. Oh ho ho! We have air! Lovely. Well, not that it particularly matters with my wonderful suit. Give me a hug, electricity. Ow! Okay, so it does matter. In any case, yeah. I think that, uh, I think that, yeah, I'll give you another cliffhanger. Why not? Why not? Let's check this out. 